I came to learn from the best. Yeah. I left home when I was 17, over 10 years ago now. After having gone through my medical sco school in Europe and my undergraduate training here in the States, you know, I figured there was no better place to watch my dreams come alive than Mayo Clinic in Rochester. For me specifically, uh, given my background, I have a special um, interest in focusing on care for the underserved communities. Right here in our little town of Rochester, we do have quite the diverse population, both internationally from other countries, but also even our, our um, local African communities who come here to receive their care. Earlier this year, I was able to go to Malawi and to Nigeria to actually start to work on some of those dreams, and thanks to the Mayo Clinic's awards and, and scholarships to really help make those dreams come true. For me, especially after going through three years of residency and a chief year, I started to get a sense of how limited our years as a trainee really are and how you kind of have to seize this time and be at a place where your your need to learn is valued and I really knew that the focus and the dedication of the people here every single person here was to make sure that as a trainee you are optimizing your learning so that you're ready when you are independent added to that is you kind of get a sense of this higher calling when you hear the stories of the patients that come here. You hear patients that have traveled, like you said, from around the world to be here to see you at the Mayo Clinic and you see the value of the things that you do literally every day. I think people here are very genuine and very supportive. Our program is very special because we have, you know, the, the goal to make our program feel like a family and it really does feel that way. I've heard before individuals in a health system in a training setting everywhere from med school to residency be supportive of you as a trainee having a multifaceted life outside of training but I've never been at a place where the entire system is in support of that vision. Everyone you're working with understands that what makes you a great physician is more than what you do at the clinical bedside. Um, it's the study that goes into it. It's the time that you spend with the people and the things that matter to you and valuing and nurturing all the experiences that make you who you are. And for me to be a physician mom in training and to have a family and just a significant other and um, also be trying to sharpen my skills as a future cardiologist, um, is it's incredible to be at a place where I am supported all around um, in all of those roles. And I don't have to pick and choose choose um, and I can be all of who I am and it's uh, appreciated and celebrated and welcome and talked about um, at work so for me that makes this place really really special. Ooh, Rochester. So it's been fun and I think that's because I have been intent on um, finding the fun. Um, it's easy to find but a lot of times people think Rochester is a small town, there's not much to do um, and I'm coming from a bigger town so it's um, but for me it's been really fun exploring all of the activities during the summers every Thursday. There's like a Thursday on second. Is it second or first? I always first. Think on first. It's Thursdays on first and you go out and everybody's out on the street with their families eating all kinds of food and there's live concerts going and all the restaurants um, and then on weekends too we drive um, and explore different places in town uh, we've been to the Petten Zoo with our kid we've been to the um, the uh, Amer the Mall of America in Minneapolis so there's just so many things and um, so many things to explore not just in the city but also in the periphery of the city um, so it's been really really fun and lots of good food and My, yeah. ice cream too. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Just as Kemi said, I like that Rochester seems to be sandwiched between, you know, we're our own quiet little town, but at yeah. the same time, if you wanted a little bit of more fun, there's Chicago and there's Minneapolis and other surrounding areas that you can even get to by planes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just make sure you write down what's important to you. Prioritize those things. For me, education, solid education, family, supportive environment, um, being around people who wanted to be leaders in their field. Um, those were really important things to me. And there are going to be lots of places that have amazing things to offer and lots of places to pick from. But really make sure that you're not limiting yourself um, based on one particular thing that you've been told but really based on the things that are most important to you. I would say if any of the things that we've said here today resonates with you, come to Mayo Clinic. Yeah. And just do it. <laughs> just do it.